everyone, my name is Ronak and I belong from the city of joy called Kolkata, West Bengal. I joined Veltech in 2012 and my program was for 4 years and the name of my program was Electronics and Communication. Veltech was my world for 3 years. After 3 years, you know, in my final year, Veltech gave 4 of the students a good opportunity to study 1 year in Taiwan as an exchange student. Yes, I was little scared about Taiwan, you know, like how should I go to Taiwan, What, how will be the life in Taiwan, all the Chinese people, language barrier, food barrier, because I was a vegetarian in India. So all those things were, you know, like going through my mind what I will do in Taiwan. I talked to the person whom I trusted the most, my father, you know, like I talked to him, you know, like what should I do. I am a little bit confused about my decision. He was like, okay, you should go and you should not worry about anything. And I was like, okay, let's go for it. So uh, the date which I remember was 11th September. 11th September 2015, I landed in Taiwan. We had an orientation on the very first day we landed, okay? In the ori orientation program was so good. We had people from all over the world, mainly from Europe. Apart from Australia and New Zealand, we had people from all over the world. I made so good friends and you know, like, Every international student in Taiwan, you know, like if you can, if you want to apply, there is one host family program. In the host family program, what you'll do is you'll have to fill a form, you'll have to write about you, what you want, and you know, like every international student will be assigned a host family. It can be anywhere in Taiwan, maybe in north, maybe in south, anywhere. So what the host family will do is they will introduce to the culture in Taiwan. Taiwanese food, the way the Taiwanese people live, the way they eat, the way they drink green tea, from everything, you know, starting from everything like the morning routine and to the routine before sleeping in the night. They will explain you everything about it and it was extremely good there. I went to my host family uh, like every once in every two months. The people were very good. In my host family, I had one host dad, one host mom and a host brother. My host dad helped me with everything the host family was not very good with English so half of the times I used Google Translator to communicate with them but really the people were very good from their heart. I would like to tell you about my experiences in Taiwan. Before going to Taiwan my vision towards my life was very narrow and after going to Taiwan my vision grew. Uh, in the first six months I was taking money from my parents to live but in the next six months I found a part-time job. The part-time job was in the same field in which I am doing my studies. The company was an LED company. The name of the company was Epilets. The company was manufacturing LED chips and in the first few weeks what we did was like we calculated the width, height and depth of the vapors and in the next month uh, we were there as reserve engineers and we were programming the robots which were used to clean the chips. So this was our work in the company. Before, like, I had a very narrow vision. Like, I thought of working here in the same company, living here, everything here. But after going there, you know, like, my boss told me that what, what are the things I can do in my life. Maybe I can move to Australia, maybe I can move to Japan. J uh, Taiwanese people have very good bond with the Japanese people. So, generally people from Taiwan, they go to Japan for work or maybe to China. So, my boss told me that if you can speak Chinese, you will speak the language which is spoken by 1.7 billion people in the world. Plus, you speak Indian which is again 1.3 billion. So, you will be able to speak half of the population of the world. Like, every third person you will meet will be either a Indian or a Taiwanese or, or a Chinese to be precise. I enjoyed a lot in Taiwan. In my 7th semester, I had few subjects, the way they teach in Taiwan, everything is so different. Everything is practical in Taiwan, the way we teach. In one year, I just wrote only 3 pages, everything, you know, like even professors writing anything on the board, he asked us to take a picture. All of the things, all of our books and all, everything he used to send us, everything in presentation, all of our homeworks in presentation. So no need to write anything. We learned many things about the practicals, about fuel cells, about mechatronics, the things I, ha I had, you know, like more of a practical exposure than a theoretical thing. I would like to tell you about the positive points in Taiwan. Technology in Taiwan. Taiwan is the rank one semiconductor industry in the whole world. Taiwan manufactures chips for companies like Apple, Samsung, the giant companies. The processor chips, everything in Taiwan. I would like to tell you about the university in which I was studying, the equipment which the professor gives in like every student will have the own space in the lab. The lab facilities were 24 into 7. Anytime you can go into the lab, every student, you know, like every student has his own professor. 
So what the processor will do is he will give you a digital key for the lab. You can enter into the lab anytime like in, in his lab, the professor's lab, you will be allotted a different space. You know like you'll have your own system, you'll have your own computer, everything. Every, you know like what you will have to do is you'll have to select your own professor and professor gets projects from the industries. So if you help him in his project, he will pay you he will help you financially like he will either pay you 5,000 or 6,000 entities per month that is equivalent to maybe 12 to 15,000 every month. The facilities in the labs are very good. The equipment which they use in the lab, the technology which they use, it's way more advanced than our country. And Taiwan is very good for electronics and I think you know like if you go to some other western countries like Europe, Australia or America, you'll have to spend a lot of money. So Taiwan is a small country. I would call it as an island. It's smaller than Tamil Nadu, but the universities in Taiwan are extremely good. NTU, NTHU, Chaotong University. There are many universities which are under top 200 in the whole QS ranking. So it, the best part about Taiwan is it is affordable. If you have a dream and if you want that dream to be Fulfilled, you know, like Taiwan is a good place, a place where you'll not have to spend too much of money and it's affordable. Life is very good in Taiwan.